Hey watch fam and welcome to another episode of Basically Watches. Firstly, given this is my first video for the year, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and best wishes for the year ahead. And now jumping into this video. If you're like most watch enthusiasts, chances are watches like the Orimas Piguet Royal Oak or the Patek Philippe Aquanaut or Nautilus were on your grail list. Unfortunately, prices for these watches have skyrocketed in the past few years. And here's a quick snippet from the Chrono24 YouTube channel just to show you what I mean. 60% increase in the market price for the Royal Oak 15202. If you want to buy one now in 2024, you're going to need roughly $100,000. It's selling for almost three times its list price. And if you're looking on 2024, you're going to need at least $60,000. So just as you saw in that video, Sadly, most of these watches have become almost unattainable for many watch collectors. But fear not, the goal of this channel is to bring to you affordable and high quality timepieces. And in this video, I've got another exciting review in store for you. And today, we'll be looking at the Frederick Constant High Life Heartbeat. But before we jump into this video, if this is our first time meeting, my name is Oswin and welcome to the channel. I created this channel to share my love and passion for watches. And the goal of this channel is to create a highly engaged community of watch enthusiasts where we can talk all things watches. So if this is something that resonates with you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And now, without further ado, let's flip perspectives and jump into this video. So here is the watch we'll be looking at today. The Frederick Constant High Life Heartbeat, reference number FC310B4NH6B. As always, I'd like to start with a bit of background. Frederick Constant was founded in 1988 by Dutch couple Aleta Frederick Stasbax and Peter Constant Stas. Apologies if I didn't pronounce that correctly. The brand name was derived from the names of great-grandparents of each of the founder, Frederick Schreiner and Constant Stas. In 2002, to diversify the Frederick Constant Group, Aletta and her husband acquired Alpina Watches, a manufacturer of Swiss sports watches founded in 1883. In May of 2016, Citizen Holdings, which also owns Boulevard, acquired Frederick Constant Holding including its three brands, Frederick Constant, Alpina Watches, and Atelier's de Monaco. Coming back to the High Life Collection, Frederick Constant launched the first models in the High Life Collection over 20 years ago. Their unique design was characterized by the special strap built into the case. In 2020, the brand decided to relaunch the High Life Collection and has updated the ingenious concept and reinvigorated the collection by adding three new models. The High Life Perpetual Calendar Manufacturer, High Life Heartbeat, which is this model here, and the High Life Automatic Cosk Certified. The three models have the same 41mm case. True to the brand's DNA, they present a modern yet elegant or sporty chic appearance. Like the original, the High Life 2020 collection has an integrated bracelet. However, this time around, it is interchangeable with quick release spring bars. Here is the box that the watch came in. Let me quickly open that to show you what it looks like. So here's the inner presentation box. It's a lovely leather box. And if I open that, that's the watch itself. It does come with a spare rubber strap. And on the inside, it's just got the Frederick Constant Live Your Passion logo embossed on there. Let me put that aside. And here's just some quick instructions on how to activate your warranty. And it's also got this instruction booklet. Some more instructions on how to activate your warranty. That's just the instruction booklet. And here's another booklet with all the details of your service centers as well as the international warranty with the authorized dealers details and so forth. In terms of the pricing, this particular model, that is the High Life Heartbeat, retails for approximately 3450 Australian dollars or approximately 2500 US dollars. This is in the entry level tier of the luxury watch market as Frederick Constant positions itself 
In the accessible luxury segment, with most of its watches retailing in the price range of 1000 to 5000 US dollars. If you are in Australia and are keen on getting this watch, I highly recommend checking out Wamada Jewelry in Chatswood in Sydney. I will leave a link to their website in the description below. It's not an affiliate link or anything, I just found their customer service to be truly exceptional. Moving on to the specs, let's start with the case. So it's got a case which measures at 41 millimeters in diameter. Lug to lug is approximately 44 millimeters and it's got a strap lug width because it's an integrated bracelet that integrates with the case itself. It starts at 25 millimeters at the lugs and tapers down to 18 millimeters at the clasp. It's got a double locking push button butterfly style clasp. And in terms of the case thickness, it's approximately nine and a half to 10 millimeters thick with a convex sapphire crystal that's got anti-glare coating on both sides of the crystal. Moving on to the case back, it's got the typical specs and features listed and it's got a display case back that features a lovely rose gold rotor. It's got 50 meters of water resistance, doesn't have a screw down crown. The dial is a lovely deep black dial on this one with that globe motif or decoration. So I read somewhere that that globe motif represents harmony and it's got that open heartbeat at the 12 o'clock position. In terms of the movement, it's got what Frederick Constant calls the Caliber FC310 movement, which is a base Alita SW300-1 movement featuring 26 jewels and 38 hours of power reserve, beating at a frequency of 28,800 Hz. The strap, as I mentioned, is stainless steel with polished center links and brushed side links. And it does come with this spare rubber strap as well, which I showed to you earlier. The beauty of this is it's got quick release spring bars, which makes it really easy to change the straps. It's also got handmade silvered applied indices and the hands as well, which are silvered with white luminous treatment. Moving on to the loom, let me quickly switch off the lights to show you what that looks like. As you can see there, the hour hand, the minute hand and the indices are all loomed. And it is a very functional loom. Here is a wrist preview to show you what it looks like on my 7.25 inch wrist. As you can see there, it sits nice and comfortably on the wrist. It does uh, sit fairly low, it feels very very comfortable to wear. And here is a wrist preview to show you what it would look like in a casual sort of environment if you're wearing a short sleeve t-shirt or a polo or something. It is a very, very versatile watch. Absolutely love the way it transforms the look by just changing the strap from a stainless steel strap to a black rubber strap. Here is a wrist preview to show you what it looks like on a shirt with a suit on. As you can see there, it's relatively slim profile with its integrated bracelet makes it super easy to slip under the cuff. It makes for a very versatile watch because it can be worn on a shirt with a suit and be worn in a corporate business environment or even a formal environment, which is why I really like this watch. It's super, super versatile. You could wear it to the beach, barbecues, weekends or any environment and it would look perfectly fine. Here is a wrist preview to show you what it looks like on the black rubber strap that it came with. As you can see there, because it's a black rubber strap, it looks almost like a leather strap and it looks quite nice on a shirt with a suit on. I don't actually mind the look of this at all. In fact, I prefer this in a formal sort of setting or a corporate business setting because it makes it look a lot more dressier. So if I was to choose, my personal preference would be to go with this black rubber strap if I was to wear it in a corporate business environment or something. So what do I like about this particular watch? For starters, the design. When it comes to design, Frederick Constant's philosophy is they like their watches to be classical and traditional whilst remaining timeless. Every timepiece is created with a genuine passion for details. The current version is faithful to the original collection from 1999. Unlike the original, however, the current version has a more integrated bracelet and does not have the horn-shaped lugs. The lack of horn-shaped lugs allows for greater flexibility and helps the watch sit more naturally and comfortably on the wrist. It creates a perfect continuity between the lines of the case and the links that smoothly and gradually transitions to the clasp. The quality is another aspect that I really appreciate about this watch. Quality is a strict priority for Frederick Constant. 
Each watch is hand assembled, checked and controlled over a long period of time by both humans as well as special equipment to ensure optimal quality. And I can tell you, this timepiece oozes quality. You can tell all parts of the watch are carefully thought about and feels very premium. The crown is nice to grip. The clasp feels very nice and luxurious. Both bracelets are super comfortable. What I really love about this watch though is the versatility. You can change the look of the watch by switching between the stainless steel bracelet to the rubber bracelet that is included. You can also purchase a leather or a crop calf suede and transition from a classic look to a sporty in a flash. The display case back is also a nice touch to show off that movement with its rose gold colored rotor, evoking that real luxury feel. So what don't I like about this watch? To be completely honest, I'm just nitpicking here. But if there were some areas of improvement, it would be the following. It doesn't have a screw down crown and it's only got 50 meters of water resistance. It doesn't bother me too much. It's not like I would be going swimming with it or anything, but it would have been nice to have at least a hundred meters of water resistance. My only biggest critic, however, is the fact that it's only got 38 hours of power reserve. With most watch manufacturers now offering over 50 hours of power reserve, it would have been nice if Frederick Constant customized the movement to offer a better power reserve. So who's this watch for? If you like the look of an integrated bracelet watch and cannot afford one of those Gerald Genta Holo Trinity watches like the Patek Philippe Nautilus, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak or the Vacheron Constantine overseas, then this watch presents as a genuine affordable alternative. Yes, the price on this is still over the $2,000 mark, but for that money, you get a genuinely attractive, high quality timepiece from a Swiss watch manufacturer with a Swiss movement that has been modified in house. The High Life collection is extremely well crafted, affordable and designed for everyday use. Additionally, it has a genuine history as it's a relaunch of the High Life collection, which Frederick Constant introduced over 20 years ago. If you still think this is a bit out of your price point, then another great watch to consider is the Tissot PRX Automatic which is less dearer and also has a genuine history as it's a relaunch of the Tissot PRX from the 1970s. So that's pretty much it in terms of the review guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Do it. Do it. Also, don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what do you think about this particular watch. Is this a watch you'd consider buying? Also, if you think there are other affordable alternatives out there, then do let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear. Until next time, bye for now.